Hello, 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 hello. It's Kate Bolt, independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator here in the UK. And I am back for another Coffee and Cards Live. Good afternoon to you. It's Tuesday again. It's time for Coffee and Cards. Uh, I hope you're really well. I'm just going to have a little look on my laptop here and check that I am live, live in the right place. And all is well. Let's just have a little look. So, yay, here I am. Now if I turn off my volume on there, I'll be able to read the comments if any of you join me live. I'll just wait a few minutes to see if anybody joins me live. Um, you might be able to guess what I'm working with for my first card today. It's the Seaside Bay stamp set and it is in our brand new mini catalogue and it's really lovely. Well, let me show you where it is. So here's the new mini and it is on page 23 and it's part of the whole suite. It's really beautiful. We have got the stamps, we've got the dies and we've got the papers and all sorts of bits and bobs. I'm just going to be working with this stamp set to create a really simple card for Coffee and Cards today. Hello, Chris from Iowa. Thank you for joining me live. That's lovely. So I'll just move this out of the way. And I just want to show you how to make a really simple card. And I'm focusing on the papers. The papers in this suite are so pretty. And I will show you those too. I'm just checking to see if you have a good view. Let's have a little look. Speed that up a little bit. See where we're at. That's better. There we go. Oh, right. So I will just quickly go through some of the papers that are in this paper stack. It's a stack of six by six papers and there are 48 sheets. There's four of each in each one, but I have been well using mine. So I don't have four of each left. I'm telling you, I have really been playing with. I have created a class, an in-person class that I'm holding uh, this Sunday, an all day class using this whole suite. And it is so beautiful. It was not difficult um, to create with. So I was very inspired whilst I was playing, designing for the class. So I thought I'd bring a simple card for coffee and cards today. So, so pretty, the papers. So these are just the one side. And they have all the seashells and all the seabirds and the seaside themes. So, so gorgeous. There we go. <coughs> oh, excuse me. So there we are. There's the papers. That's some of them anyway. I will be offering it as an online class to people in the UK following my in-person class as well. So I can send the kit and the tutorial and the instructions out. And that will be... It's not on my website right now, but it will be very shortly. Okay, let's have a look what we're going to create with this. Now, I'm just going to bring that piece in. I think that's the piece I'm going to use. Just grab that one. It's really lovely. Really, really lovely. And then we're just going to do some simple stamping. But first of all, I need my card base. Let's have a look. So I've got Pip half a sheet of A4 cardstock here. I am going to score it in half if I can lay hands on my trimmer here. Here we go. This is very low. I don't know what's happened to my tripod here. Let me just bring it up a bit. Ooh, it's a bit stiff. You never quite know until you go live. No, oh, it's completely stuck. I don't know what's happened. Somebody's been fiddling with it. <laughs> Somebody in my household has fiddled with it. No, nope, that is jammed down there. So never mind, we're gonna have it a little bit close today. It's not too bad. And then off camera, I can fiddle with it a bit more. So I've got my half a sheet of Knight of Navy cardstock. The colours in these papers are beautiful. We've got balmy blue, we've got crumb cake, and we've got Knight of Navy. And I think we've got mint macaron as well. So, ten and a half centimetres. So whatever your basic A4 is, you want to cut it in half and score it in half. So, ten and a half centimetres, that's our metric size. Okay, so then I want my layer for the top. I'm just going to go straight on with the designer series paper and I'm going to do it at 10 centimetres. So that's just half a centimetre smaller like that. I've got a nice spare bit. 
um, by 14.3 because that's just half a centimetre on both sides. I'm cutting off from the dark blue piece because I want to stamp on here. That's my aim. Okay, now the other thing I need, which I'm not sure that I've got ready, is a layer. So I'm going to grab a piece of white. I've got plenty around. Let's see how big this one is. That one's not quite big enough. Let's grab a sheet. Oh, I think I've got about three. I don't need that many. Okay, <clears throat> excuse me, I've got a frog in my throat today. So 14.3, it's the same size as my layer of DSP. My first layer is my white piece of the inside of my card. So it leaves that little bit of a border. And this is where you're gonna write your greeting inside and stamp inside. Okay, so we've got all the pieces we need. Hope you've got your coffee. I've got a cold drink today, although it's very cold here in uh, Buckinghamshire. Um, we are, it's minus six overnight, which is obviously not cold, depending where you are in the world, but for in the UK, that's very cold. Okay, so I've got my sheet that goes on the top and I've got my white layer for inside. And this is gonna be the simplest card, so easy to create. Let's bring in my stamp set. These birds are gorgeous, aren't they? But I'm just going to bring in this little seashell stamp. Here you go. You can see it is all one stamp. I'll move that out of the way. Can you see that? There we go. And then I think I'm going to bring in... I've got another sand one. I'm not sure how I'm going to use that. I think I'm going to leave it and just use that one for now. Right, here we go. Let's grab a block. And I'm going to go with the crumb cake ink pad. So I'm using the colours that are in papers. I've picked out Night of Navy and crumb cake today. Shaz, how are you, my lovely? I did meet lovely Ruth last Friday. I was at a meeting near Birmingham and I met the lovely Ruth from Artful Stampin'. She's so lovely. So, so lovely. We had such a nice time too. When Stampin' Up! demonstrators get together, we do have a bit of fun. Okay, so I'm just going to stamp it straight onto my card where the sand is. So I'm thinking this is the sky, this is, looks like the sand, and this looks like the ocean. It looks like a bit of a dark, deep ocean there. Okay, I'm going to just pop it in the middle. It's literally what I'm going to do. And stamp it well. So I've got my, I've got my um, seashells, I've got my sand. I might actually... I'm thinking I might come in with that sand either side. That might be quite nice. Here we go, I've got a bit of scrappy paper here. Let's use that. And I am going to stamp, stamp off the side here to make a bit more Sand. There we go. That kind of continues it on. It looked like it was just floating about. And we don't want our seashells floating about. So <laughs> that's that. Okay. And then I am going to come in with a Knight of Navy. Now, there's some beautiful sentiments in this set. And this would make a great sympathy card if you stamped heartfelt sympathy or thank you. This was nice. You're a pearl, rare and precious. I love that. But I wanted to show you something today. I wanted to show you a celebration stamp set, which I put over here, which is absolutely fantastic. It's called Sending Support. And I really, really, really like the sentiments in this one because sometimes you want a, a, 
a stamp set that does send support, if you're not going to be sending a birthday, anniversary, you know, generic card and you want to say something, this is a great one. Um, I do struggle with some of the stamp sets because sometimes the stamps aren't quite what I want. But this is a great one. It's got good luck. It's okay not to feel okay. So if you're really thinking of someone who's going through a tough time, this is lovely. You've got some days are harder than others. Hope today is one of the easier ones. There are so many ways you may feel right now. Alone should not be one of them. Here for you always. You've got this. My shoulder is yours. Sending loving thoughts and prayers. Good luck. Um, courage is being really scared and doing it anyway. I really love these these sentiments. I think they're so useful. So this is a free stamp set with celebration. So if you place a qualifying order in my online shop, you can get this one for free. Um, and actually, if you purchase the Seaside Bay bundle with the dies, which are fabulous, I'll show you the dies. They're here. You would then qualify for that free stamp set. And this... Um, Look at all those dies. You've got the bird. <laughs> uh, oh, and in fact, there's birds in the paper you can cut out using the dies. You've got the shells. You've got some standalone dies. You've got these ones here, here, and here. This will cut out a whole oyster shell. And there's a pearl. And this cuts out this stamp here. And it cuts out this one. And the muscle cuts out the papers and this one. You've got this one that cuts out and it embosses. This one cuts out the birds. So you've got all of that. And then there's like, this is for sand. So it's a great bundle. So if you wanted the whole bundle, you get 10% off by buying a bundle. And you would also qualify for this free. Can't beat free, can you? So I'm going to choose one of these. And I thought... I was going to put some days are harder than others. I've got a friend who's going through a bit of a tough time. And I'm going to send it to her. So let her know I'm thinking about her. Let's use this long block. I haven't used this stamp. In fact, I haven't used any of them yet. I was waiting to use them. With this stamp set, perfect for this um, this suite. Okay, some days are harder than others. Let's see how well it stamps. Oh, that's nice. Right, let's pop it on the top then. So I'm going to put it in this light blue where it looks like the sky is because you can stamp straight onto it. Now... I have rather over inked that now in my enthusiasm. So let's hope I didn't make a mess. And it's also very hard to see over the top of my camera. Right, without pressing too hard. Yes, it worked. Oh, hello, Amanda from sunny, blustery Spain. You're very lucky to have a sunny, blustery Spain. It's very cold here, that all the roofs are white and it's very frosty in the UK. Okay, so this is going straight onto the front of my card. Simple, simple, simple. And I think I'm gonna use my Tombow. These papers are beautiful. I did show them to you. However, I don't think I pointed out that they are the speciality papers and they've all got one side is uh, metallic. So beautiful. But I'm using the other side of this one. Love, love, love it. Love it. So nice. I love a card where you can use the designer series paper and stamp straight onto it and make a really simple card for someone. Right, so there's that. And then on the inside, I am again going to use those seashells. Give it a little bit of interest. So back in with the crumb cake ink and you can pop it across the bottom like that. Look how pretty that is. You don't really have to do any more than that. And then we will, I'll just clean that stamp up. 
my chamois. Take it off, I'll use that block, save grabbing another one. Um, so I used, some days are harder than others. And the other one I want to put inside is Hope Today is one of the easier ones. Right, so let's ink that one up. Back in with the um, Night of Navy. So I've just used two ink pads today, two colours, the papers and the stamps. There we go. So, hope today is one of the easier ones. And then I'm going to um, just glue that inside. Oh, your husband calls. Very inconvenient. Well, these men don't understand. <laughs> Sorry if you're a chap. Oh, dear. <laughs> I'm sure they do. Hope today is one of the easier ones. So I really love that. You could add a few gems on there just to make it a little, 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 little words, a little bit special, but I actually just like it the way it is. And that's my first card. You can't get much quicker than that, can you? Such a simple card. And then you've got a little bit of designer series paper left over to play with. Don't, um, don't forget to use all your scraps. So that's my first card made using this beautiful sweet love it it's absolutely gorgeous and that semi support stamp set from celebration so okay i'm going to put that to the side all the bits and bobs that i got out for the live let's do that and then i'm going to bring in now this is quite a serious card you're trying, Shaz says, you try not to watch, you don't have the sweet. <laughs> oh, Shaz, I think you're doomed, my love. This one is so nice to use. So easy to play with. I love it. Really, really love it. Okay, so I'm not going to make another card using this sweet. This is quite, um, what's the word? A serious card, isn't it? Some days are harder than others. So I thought we'd come in with something really so much more fun now. So you're okay, okay? You can look. Thank you, Amanda. That's very kind. So we have another celebration stamp set that I got this week in my big brown box delivery. And I have not played with it and I couldn't wait to have a go. It's ridiculously silly. It's called Thanks a Bunch and it's carrots. Okay. Now, yeah, I can hear you thinking, saying, what on earth would I do with that? <laughs> You're probably not the only one. Right. Okay. So this is free in celebration, as you can see. This is free with a £45 order in my online shop. Yeah. Um, I absolutely love it. <laughs> I think it's hilarious. And I put it on my next order because, you know, why not have carrots? <laughs> it's actually fun. It says it looks like spring. Uh, love you. There's no one quite like you. Thanks. Everything is coming up carrots. I'm not quite sure what I would use that sentiment for, but maybe... But thanks a bunch and all of those. And I love the images. So we're going to have a bit of fun with it, guys. Why not? Life's about having a bit of fun. Okay, so I brought in some more colours. I've brought in pumpkin pie. My ink um, label has faded in the sun. Um, I don't know why this colour tends to fade on the, on the label. I don't know. Uh, granny apple green and garden green. So those are my colours. I've got my stamp set. I've gone with a thick um, base of basic white cardstock and I have picked out some more designer series papers and I'll show you what I've picked out because this is fun. Okay, right, let me just get my bits ready. <laughs> I like it. So let's have a look. So I've got these papers. Right, I'm going to try and wrestle once more with my tripod. I had hand cream on just now, so... Yes, here we go. Oh no, the whole base is moving now. Yeah, that's 
it's not having it. I have to wait till my um my super strong son gets up. <laughs> I do believe someone's been playing with it though. Let's bring it up a little bit. Like so. That might help. Okay. Stick my thumb in it. But is these papers okay? These papers are beautiful. I was absolutely bowled over by them because they don't look, you know, they don't look like anything like that, do they? They just look like papers, but they are. So these are the Dandy Design 12 by 12 designer series papers. I believe they are in celebration. Um, these would be free with a 90 pounds order. Let's have a look. There's loads of beautiful things in celebration. Here they are because there are so many papers. You have 48 sheets, four of each design, double-sided, 12 designs, um, and they're 12 by 12. So you get an awful lot of papers, which is why they're free with a 90 pounds order. And the sending support stamp set here, that is free with a 45 pounds order. That was the one I was using just now. So look at these papers. Aren't they gorgeous? Look at the colors. I am loving them. I don't know. They're really very, very me. Um, I can't wait to create lots of things with these. Scrapbook pages. That is, I just picked out a whole load of um, papers from another set and then I think for a scrapbook page and then I think I'm going to come back and use these. Look at this. Oh, I think that is Coastal Cabana and Balmy Blue, which are two of my favourite colours. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Am I the only one who gets absolutely a bit doolally over pattern paper? I hope I'm not. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? I am absolutely loving it. The colours aren't quite so vibrant on the camera. I'm just looking. But can you see that? This is a stripe. This is just beautiful paper. So this is um, a gorgeous gorgeous free edition uh free one from celebration um yeah don't leave that there don't leave that in your basket so i was thinking which paper am i going to use for my carrots and i did think this one and i eventually went with this one because i wanted to use the other side of it as well and i really rather liked it so let's crack on so i've got my card base which is the same size as i had before which then when it's folded it is 10.5 by 14.8 and I'm going to cut my piece up to fit it. I think I'm going to actually see if I can get it to fit the whole piece right to the edge. Let's have a go. Or should I just do it at 10? Let's go 10.5. See if I can do it. So a strip off there. 14.8 on the trimmer here and then I'm going to cut another little piece off afterwards too okay so this should fit the front of my card if I've cut it well oh no oh maybe my card base is not the right size mm, maybe I didn't cut it right that's weird too much talking and not enough um Oh, I cut it at my layer size, 14.3. Well, that's fine. That's what we're going to go with. I was wondering whether I should. And I subconsciously made up my own mind. <laughs> oh, dear. There we go. So we're going to have a little border. I wasn't sure, but now I am. So that's going to go on here. Actually, that makes it pop so much better, doesn't it? You can see that now. <laughs> Shaz, you can watch now, my lovely, because, yeah. I'm not using that sweet anymore. Right, so I've got another piece to go on here and I made it small enough so that you could see some of this paper. So I think this is, I wrote down what my measurements were on my paper. I think it was eight centimeters and I wrote it on this scrap piece by 13.8. Let's just check I've got the right piece. Yeah. 
8, yep, that's it, 8 by 13.8. Okay, well, that's not bad. So I'm going to pop that on here like that. And I'm going to show you what I'm going to do. I might make this slightly smaller, I haven't quite decided yet. And then I've got a scrap piece of basic white again. So I'll move this one out of the way. And I'm going to stamp my carrots. <laughs> Where's that stamp? I have that that um, acrylic block. Here it is. Let's take that sentiment off it. Right, carrots. I will show you. I got carrot stamps. Let's bring this over. There. Right. Okay. So here's the stamp set. You have got large carrots. You've got the carrot kind of detail. You've got a small one with a... Oh, no, I think that's leaf detail there, but you've got a small one. You've got a little tiny bunch of carrots. You've got leaves, more leaves that look like seedlings. You've got the leaf and a leaf detail. I think that is. It looks like it. You've got these. I think these might be seeds. You've got lines like you get on a carrot and then you've got all those lovely sentiments so fun right so we're going to do some stamping and i've had a bit of fun playing with this to work out the best way for me to do it I had to re-ink my um had to re-ink my pumpkin pie because it just wasn't vibrant enough i don't can't remember the last time i did it so oh you're making cards as well shaz what are you using for yours Right, so I've got my piece. Now I've got to decide, I'm going to put some carrots on here. This is my scrap piece, okay? Um, because I'm going to do my carrots and then cut them out. Um, so let's just do that. Now, I worked out that if I stamp it off, so I have second generation stamping like that. Do you see? Oh, you've got two-tone flora, that's beautiful. And then I come in with the detail stamp in full strength pumpkin pie. I'm using the same colour. So just one ink pad, but you can get the detail that shows up on the side of the carrot. Do you see that? Okay, so we're going to do that a couple more times. Actually, let's just do it one more time because I'm going to see if I can get a better... aim at my, I don't know what you call those. They're not carrot wrinkles, are they? <laughs> carrot wrinkles. <laughs> what do you call it then? Oh no. Carrot wrinkles. I think we should just call it carrot wrinkles. I mean the lines on the carrot. Yes. Okay. So I didn't line that one up so well. So I've had a go there and that's worked. Okay. So there we are, we have our pumpkin pie, we've got our carrot. So I've already done three and cut them out very simply. Okay, I think I'm gonna sit down. <laughs> and I'm gonna grab out my scissors. I can see the comments anyway. Carrot. What would you call it? It's not wrinkles, carrot lines. I don't know. Okay, I hope you're enjoying the video. If you are liking it, please give me a thumbs up because that really helps the YouTube algorithm suggest the video to other people who might like it because it helps it get shown a little bit more. Any interaction like liking and commenting or oh, sharing, sharing is even better. Right, so I'm just gonna cut it out with my snips. I am not being very accurate and I'm leaving a tiny little white border all the way around. Because there are no dies, but it's just a carrot shape. It's not hard, is it? Um, but if you don't want to do it, you can just stamp straight onto your panel of white cardstock, absolutely fine. Okay. So I've got my carrot and then I got my sponge dauber out because I thought I might just, now I've left a white edge, I might actually ink the edges. So sponge dauber, a little bit of orange ink, make sure it's not too harsh. And then I'm just going to take off that 
kind of I'm not going over the white edge although it does but it's more about the actual edge the core the core of the cardstock does that make sense so I'm going to do all of those <laughs> such a fun card Do you know anybody who's green fingered? I mean, it would make a great kind of card for anybody, really, wouldn't it? But it would be funny to send it to somebody who's green fingered, somebody who likes gardening. I think inking the edges is really effective at making it kind of stand out a little bit. And I learned something, you probably all know this, but when I was a beginner stamper, I didn't know this. Right, I'll show you something. So I use my sponge daubers for inking edges and all sorts of other um, things, you know, sponge sponging on the card. When I was a new stamper, I used to get my ink pads, okay? And I used to take the edge and do this so that I could ink the edges in the same way. Little did I know this will gradually um, damage your ink pad. It'll leave actually little cut lines eventually and wear marks, not, gra not great. So your sponge daub is your friend. Okay, so I've got my carrots. Let's move this piece of scrappy paper out of the way for a minute. I've got my piece of what's it basic white cardstock thick and then I've got my designer series paper here so I think I'm going to stick this down and then I'm going to put my layer on the other side's gorgeous isn't it the two-tone floor is beautiful um shaz isn't it So Celebration is amazing. If you don't know what it is, anybody who's watching, it's a promotion that Stampin' Up! do every year. This last year, or for a couple of years, excuse me, we've had two episodes of Celebration throughout the year. This year we've just got one. It is running January through to the end of February. And it is, like I showed you, you can, with a qualifying purchase, you can order any of those freebies in that Celebration brochure. It's not just that. You can actually um, get a really great deal with the joining offer that's on during celebration. And we have three different joining offers this time. Um, they are, you can get, so let's think about this, you can get £125 worth of product plus the mini Stampin' Up! Cut and Emboss machine in either blue, which is limited edition, or white. Um, so you get that plus £125 worth of any product you like from the catalogues um, with £125. No, I've got that wrong, haven't I? It's £175 and you only pay... Right, let's hope that's reconnected. I do apologise if the internet dropped out, dropped out guys. Um, yeah, so you get um, £170 worth of product plus the mini machine in blue for £125 or you can get it in white same offer or you can get £170 worth of Stampin' Up! products without the machine but you only pay £99 those are the three joining offers and that's just during January and February this year so I would love to welcome you into my little Stampin' Up! team that's actually not so little these days I would love to you to join me so if you fancy it don't leave that till another month in the year when you don't get that amazing offer. I would do it soon. So I've got four carrots. Oh, and if you fancy that, you can ask me any questions you like. Uh, message me or just click the joining offer in the description bar below. It will tell you everything you need to know. So I've got my carrots, my bunch of carrots, okay? Now, you've got to think about where you're going to place your carrots on your card because some of these leaves are rather long. So if I put them up too high, my leaves would be stamped off the top. So I am going to place them down here a little bit. And then I'm going to work out where this big tall leaf will end up going like that. Oh, hi, Anthony. How are you? 
I was having a bit of problem explaining the joining of it. I'm having a bit of word issues this work this week. Here we go. Don't know why that is. Okay, so I've now got my bunch of carrots, my leaf fit properly. And I've got the other leaf. So I'm going to play with that to begin with. And I'm going to use granny apple green. I love this green. It's a really nice, vibrant one. I'm going to bring in my scrappy paper again. I only need a small piece. And just fold it up there. And uh, bring my ink pad in. Right, okay. I'm going to stamp it off. Because I'm going to have a kind of a variegated leaf. So we've got one there. One there. I think this um, ink pad also needs re-inking, you know. So just stamp it off like we've got like so and then I can come in with a bit of full strength as well here and there like that <laughs> and then I'm going to change my green we are going to go for the garden green I've not stuck my carrots down yet because um, I want to um, stick those on after and use some foam pads as well. Now, also, when I did my this stamping, when I made my sample, when I was mucking about and playing with this stamp set for the first time, I had stuck my carrots down before I came in with this stamp and it ended up being right up here because this stalk is very long. So I had to kind of work out how to do that. So I am going to... Bring this down a bit and just stamp it like that. And I really like that kind of um, long. My words are aren't working. Long um, stem here. Because they're kind of more almost like you know a, a you know when a tiny carrot first sprouts. It's kind of like that. There we go. Okay, good. We got there. We got there. Right, so that's the green. So now it's time to stick my carrots down. I've got my Tombow, some sticky foam pads. Love it. Let's put it down again now. Thank you, Shaz. Thank you, guys, very much. Oh, for sharing or liking. Right, let's stick these down. I think I'll stick this one down first. So just a little bit of Tombow on the back. So what is the weather like with you guys? It's super freezing cold here, but for the first time in ages, we've actually got a blue sky and the sun is shining. I'd almost forgotten what it was like. I almost wondered what the big yellow thing was up in the sky, to be fair. And it's glorious here. Make sure it meets the bottom of the leaves, so my um my carrot my leaves are not just floating and not attached to anything. That could be a bit awkward. I love this set. I want to see what else I can do with it. Oh, I tell you, I saw somebody had made a card, and they had turned them upside down, and they had made them into trees. <sighs> can you imagine green trees? Yeah, that's what they've done. And it looked amazing. It looked really, really good. So fun. So a couple of sticky foam pads. I'll have three. Oh, no. Minus three degrees there, but you had no water for three days because you had a burst water main. Yeah, that's the only problem with this weather, isn't it? When the ground shrinks and expands and the pipes burst. It's terrible. 
We get a lot of burst water mains around here too. Fingers crossed. Okay, so I've got my carrots. I think it's cool. I really like it. Right, I'm going to pop it on. I'm going to go on here like that. Love it. Okay, I'm just going to put it on and then I'm going to put my, um, I might as well use Tombow. I'm going to put my sentiment on. In the middle, I think. I'm just going to put it to the side, but I think in the middle, that's fine. And then we are going to do our sentiment. Now, I had a couple of scrappy bits of white that I kept on the side to use precisely for my sentiment. Oh, yeah, I've got a whole load of them down here. This one might work, actually. So I have put, no, interestingly, the thanks a bunch is a separate stamp. So we've got a thanks and a bunch, which is great because you don't always want thanks a bunch, but you might want thanks on its own. So that's really useful that they've done that like that. So I am going to use this scrap that I've already got here. It just happens to be a scrap. I might have to trim it. I might put it on my silicon mat so I can see it better. Okay, garden green, I think, will show out. Here we go. You could do thanks in one colour. You could do a bunch in another. It makes more options when they do that. <laughs> there we go that's nice I might just trim the top slightly to make it a little bit neater just take a shave off it because that pleases me and there's a little trick that I've been doing lately with my sentiments, I just like it. It's very simple, very, very simple. You can either that way or that way, cut it and give yourself a little banner. And I'm gonna do it that way. Thanks a bunch. I'm gonna pop it on there like that. Um, but just to make that pop out a little bit, I'm gonna use some of the paper that we used. And I think what I'm going to do is cut a little strip off. Can't work out how big. I'll just do it by eye and see how we get on. So how big is this? That'll help me, won't it? So this is about... It's about one and a half centimetres. So if I do that... Might be a little bit smaller than that, actually. Yeah, shave a tiny bit off just so that it's similar size. There we are. Doesn't really matter anyway. And I'm just gonna bring it underneath. See what it looks like. I'm casing the catalogue. I'll show you. I think they did theirs different. I'm just doing doing mine how I fancy it, but I'm casing this idea. So I've used designer series paper. I've used a white panel. They have a little bit of fancy edging I've not used, but they've used the thanks a bunch and they've got a piece of designer series paper here. So I think I'm going to do the same thing. Um, I don't know if I want to make that on the angle as well but I might okay that'll do that'll do 
And I think I'm not going to do it exactly the same. Right, so let's cut it. That's very brave, isn't it? That's what we're going to go for. So I think what I'm going to do is, I was looking for this, put that here, put a bit of snail on the bottom, seal, hasn't been snail for years. <laughs> Work out how I want it to look. I want that over there, I think, and this to come in here like that and then stick it on by eye. Nothing fancy. Make sure it's straight, that is one thing. <clears throat> now I don't need to stick it up on foam pads, I've already stuck this one up. So I think I'm just gonna use my seal, which I just put down somewhere there. We do, we do get used to just turning on the tap and water being there, don't we? And it's frightening when it isn't. Oh, thank you, realistic carrots. Thank you, Shaz. I had great fun with them. Thanks a bunch. So there we go. Thanks a bunch. And that sticks on there nicely with the seal, like that. And then I'm not gonna, should I stab the carrot inside? Yeah, why not? Why not? <laughs> so fun just fun so I've used celebration carrots and celebration dandy designs papers just for fun thanks a bunch <laughs> oh why not right carrots coming back in because we can. There's a carrot. There's a carrot top. There's a carrot. What did I call them? Carrot wrinkles? Something like that. Carrot lines. Silly. Right. Let's juice. Oh, look, I've just stamped that everywhere. So, stamp it off. Second generation. I think I'm going to do two, one there, and I might have to do a small leaf. Did I have another leaf? And I have to go for the small leaf because I stamped it so far high, high up. Didn't stamp that very well. There we go. Okay, so we've got our carrots. Now we're going to go, I don't know why I bothered because I've got it everywhere anyway. Um, I'm going in for my carrot wrinkles. close that up otherwise I'm going to be orange we all know that's going to happen right let's hope I've got enough room for my I have if I kind of make it a bit sideways Stamp it off. There we go. <laughs> Maybe I went a bit mad with carrots on the inside. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe I didn't need such large leaves, but I love it. It's funny. It's fun. Okay, so today we have played with the Thanks a Bunch stamp set from Celebration. We have played with the Dandy Designs Designer Series papers. And I've just used one design and used both sides. We started off with a more serious card <clears throat> using the By the Bay suite and the Sending Support stamp set from Celebration, which was the one that I really wanted to show you. I really love that. I think it's going to be super useful for everyone um, and really appropriate 
sentiments that people might like to use. Um, I really love it. And I think this some days are harder than others. Hope today is one of the easier ones is a nice one. And I've literally just stamped it onto the designer series paper and put it on the front of the card. And then to lighten the mood, we've gone for some carrots. I hope you enjoyed my coffee and cards live today. Even though the cards are completely different, I hope you've enjoyed those. And um, I will be back on Friday with a fun Friday live. Apologies, I wasn't around last week. I was at that Stamping Up Leadership meeting, which was fun but I shall be back live on Friday I'll be uh, here live at 11 a.m so I will see you then um if you have any questions do um let me know let me know if you like the carrots I would love to know what you think of the carrots and also the sending support stamp set do let me know in the comments below won't you if you like any of the products that you've seen you can find them in my online shop at katebolt.stampinup.net you can find all the links to everything over on my website which is inkstampshare.ink um, I hope you've enjoyed it. Thank you so much for joining me live. And if you're watching me on replay, please give me a thumbs up if you've enjoyed it and subscribe and say hello from Tomorrowland. And um, I will see you soon. Thank you, Amanda. They are very different cards today, aren't they? <laughs> but it's a bit of fun. And sometimes we just need that, uh, especially in the middle of January. Uh, thanks for joining me, guys. And I will see you next time. Take care. Hope you have a good week. Bye-bye now.